Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I want to show you how you can install and use View Distance Tweaks. View Distance Tweaks dynamically changes the view distance and simulation distance on your server. So if, for example, you are alone on your server, the view distance and simulation distance will be set much higher. But if your server is busy, then they'll be set lower. There's a lot of stuff you can configure, and the setup isn't as easy as just drag and drop into your plugins folder. So let's get right into it. So first of all, you're simply just going to download View Distance Tweaks, and there'll be a link to this in the description. Once you're on this page, simply click download now, and then once it has downloaded, go ahead and go to your server's panel. Now as this is a plugin, you're going to need to make sure that your server does support plugins. So first of all, go down to the jar and pre-install menu, and then there's a few different versions which will work here. The main ones being paper, spigot, and craft bucket. However, I'm going to be using paper as it is much more optimized. So once you've selected your version, go ahead and click save. And if you just selected a new version, then you do need to go ahead and restart your server. So first, we're going to stop our server. Then we're going to go to the file manager on the left. And in here, we're then going to scroll down to the plugins folder. And then in this folder, you're going to click upload and then file. And then you're simply going to find view distance tweaks. Go ahead and double click it to upload it. And then there we go. So now we need to start our server back up just to generate the files. However, we are not done yet. So once your server has started, go ahead and refresh the page. And now you should have a view distance tweaks folder. We're then going to go into this folder. And as you can see, we have config.yml. Then if we go into this, of course, you can change a few things in here. But the main thing we need to change is at the top, we're going to need to change enabled to true. The reason it's off by default is because the developer wants you to configure this yourself. So we do recommend scrolling down and looking through the different config settings. So the main ones you're probably going to want to change are these ones down here, where they have the minimum and maximum view distance and simulation distance. So of course, if your server is a bit more powerful, then you may want to change the maximum view distance up to, for example, 25. Meaning that if you're by yourself or your server isn't busy, the view distance will be pushed up to 25, or somewhere around it, but it won't be able to go past 25. Although you can actually set it manually past that number. So in game, if you wanted to, you will be able to set it to, for example, 32. So once you've configured it and changed this to true, you can then go ahead and click save. And then we're going to need to restart our server. So now we are in game. And to just check the plugin has installed, we're simply going to do slash PL. And as you can see, view distance tweaks is now green, which means it has been installed correctly. And now for the commands in game, we can do slash VDT. You can also put view distance tweaks, but of course that is a lot longer to type. So if we do VDT, we can then change the simulation distance and view distance. So if we were to change the view distance, we can then pick a view distance. So for example, let's just go for 25. Then we can set a duration. So if we then press tab and then space, you can then select how many minutes you want it to be like this for. If you don't want to set a duration, you can simply just remove this. But if you wanted to set the view distance to 25, for example, one minute, simply put in one and press enter. And now the view distance of our world has been set to 25 for one minute. So as you can see, it has started loading in chunks a bit further away. But once this minute has passed, these chunks should all go back to where they were before. And there you go, as you can see, once the minute has finished, it has been set back to what it was before. So you can set a certain view or simulation distance for any amount of time you'd like. Another command we can do is slash VDT and then status. And here we can see a few stats. The first number is simulation distance. The second number is the current chunks loaded. The third number is the view distance. And the fourth number is the no tick chunks. And you can see these for each dimension. So the overworld, the nether and the end. So let's say you wanted to change the view distance for the nether, but not for the overworld. What you can do is slash VDT and then view distance. And then of course, set your view distance, we'll go for 25 again. And then you're gonna to want to put your nether. So as you can see above, my nether is simply called world underscore nether. And if you haven't changed your world's name, it will also be that as well. So we're gonna put world underscore nether and then we're not actually going to add a duration to this if we then do that as you can see we have set the view distance of world nether to 25 until next reload so now if we run vdt stats again as you can see the view distance for the nether is set to 25 and now if we go through into the nether we'll be able to test out our view distance now of course it is kind of hard to tell because of the fog that the nether has but the view distance is set to 25 and if you start flying around no chunks will suddenly load 
as of course the view distance is actually set to 25, meaning the chunks are already loaded. Now of course this does also work for simulation distance, but a lot of people don't actually know what simulation distance is. Now we do have a whole video about it which I'll leave as an iCard right now, but I'll give a short explanation. Simulation distance is basically how far things will function for. So for example if the simulation distance is set to 10, but you are for example 15 chunks away from your farm, then your farm won't grow. However if the simulation distance is set to 20 and you're 10 chunks away from your farm, then the farm will still be able to grow. This is the same for furnaces and other things like that as well. And anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time.